Yo, yo, it's your boy, Tastemaker's Palette, back here with another review. Hope that you are all well today and that everything is going well on your end of the screen. I'm just bringing another review today. It's been a while. Uh, good to be back. Um, we are dead smack toward the tail end of, uh, of the summer. So, um, you know, I'll start transitioning into some more um, fall fall friendly reviews and reviewing things that I'm picking up for the fall. It's always a never ending cycle. I'm bringing things in and um, letting things go. I also sell pieces that I haven't, you know, that I don't really make use of. Um, but um, at any rate, you know, I, I, um, I'm I always carousing, you know, love love to see what's, what's out there. And I'm gonna bring you a review of a brand that I reviewed in the past um, and give you an update about it. So I got, I picked up a pair of Rude cargo pants. Um, I've done some reviews on Rude in the past, so, you know, please check that, check those out. And I've done reviews on, on, on different cargo pants. And I, it, it, they to me, in my opinion, they are, um, they are like king, they are kings in the, in the cargo pants game. I don't really think you'll ever find one brand that, um, that is, unequivocally the best at any one thing. So um, it's always gonna be, you know, if I feel like something is the best, it's generally, uh, you know, kind of arguably, but Rude would, you know, is definitely one of the best. There's a couple of brands that um, out there that I've seen some fire, fire cargoes as well, and I haven't tried them. Um, Rick Owens, Dark Shadow got, has some crazy, crazy cargoes. Um, Acronym has some crazy, crazy cargoes. Um, uh, th there's a lot of different brands that have some some super dope cargos on um, Stone Island. Just you know, they're they're the technical kings, so they they have like, um, you know, they they play with different types of um, uh, military styles, like different type of military styles from across the world, and they infuse their technical fabric and their twist on it and make crazy cargos. So there's there's quite a few brands out there. Killing Cargoes, John Elliott, they've, they've got kind of like the dopest um, simple cargo, in my opinion. But um, Rude is really, really, really up there. Now, um, I picked up a pair of Rude Cargoes that have been recently released, and I noticed some changes um, from previous designs up until this point. And, you know, I wanted to, to go over some of those differences with you guys. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's take a look. So let's check it out. Tiger Tiger Camo, Tiger Stripe Camo, Mood Cargo. Ruigi. By the way, Ruigi has um, you know, had his hand in a lot lately, has gone through some things. I think that he was also um he was also the director of, I can't remember if it was Bally or one of these brands and um, I believe he stepped down, he was going through some controversy going on with him. So big up to Luigi, man. I, I, I like what he does and, you know, I hope that, um, you know, he finds himself on the positive side of things, putting out these designs and contributing to the fashion world. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to undo the draw cord here. The draw cord is so long. I, I, Sometimes I'll rock it out, but sometimes that swing is a bit much. So I'll, I got a, a funky way of tying it. And I'll show you that too, just to give you some ideas. But uh, yeah, again, um, Tiger Camo Cargo by Rude. And in the typical Rude fashion, we have, this is what I, one of the things that I really love is the, the front pockets, regular side slant pocket here right as we go down the line we have the classic cargo pocket which is on the side and there's a there's one pocket with a, with a flap sorry i'm a little high there one pocket with a flap on the cargo pocket functional fully functional and one pocket with a zip the zip is 
Rude's classic pill zip. He's got a pill at the end of his zippers. Those cargo pockets are on both sides. Pill zip. Functional cargo pocket. Right here. Um, and that's pretty much it for the front. Draw cord on the bottom to cinch your um, the ankle. So you can either, these, these don't bellow too, too much, but they'll give you a little bit of sneaker cover if you like that new wide bottom boot cut kind of look. It's definitely not a boot cut, but it'll give you a little bit of coverage on the shoe. Just the way I like it. I don't like too, too much coverage if I can help it. I do have a few kind of boot cut styles just for the, for the heck of it. But generally speaking, I like just a neutral amount of coverage on the shoe. And this cinch is perfect because if I want to just cinch it up at the ankle, and uh, show the whole shoe, I could do that. Now, this is the part that, this is the part here that I, the, the draw cord itself, let's talk about that. So in, in previous offerings, um, Roots Cargo had a snap, but a snap system with, with buttons with heavy duty rivets. And you'll see that, uh, take a look back guys, I have two, um, two other reviews of, of Rude Cargo's and those have the buttons on the side. And I prefer the buttons over the draw cord. I just think there's just something about it, something about the the way the, of the way it looks when you unsnap those buttons and they sit on the top of your shoe. And the, the hardware of the buttons themselves add add a little bit more. Um, it's something something quality um, about that. So I really I like the buttons over the draw cord, but I can definitely live with the draw cord. These are mid weight. Um, this is midway cotton, which is also still heavy. That's one thing you always get with Rude is like you can feel in the fabric when you pick up the pants. These these things are heavy. Um, elastic waistband um, has the what do you call that? That front part of the rise where the zipper is. There's no zipper there though, but it has the appearance, that kind of look that it does. As we turn it around to the back, we have cargo flat pockets and rude their flat pockets typically this is the one of the signature rude things on on uh on, on rude on rude pants that have flat back pockets is it has that that shape kind of like i don't know what shape that is like a, uh and their the pockets are angled so it'll angle up and then it'll flatten out so you, and you'll see that on on all of their pockets they typically don't have flat flat pocket so um that's dope there is also a um kind of like how you see on com on traditional combat pants there's that stitching that comes in to the thighs there and it's not perfectly circular like you see on combat pants it's just like a, uh i don't know kind of like an oval like a long oval so that circular pattern coming up on the back of the leg, stitched in. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, again, Rude, these are a size XL. When it comes, to, uh, I'm sorry, double XL. When it comes to Rude, I would con I would uh, suggest sizing up. Um, now, one thing that I, they, I bought a pair of Rude uh, pants in size XL, they were very, very tight. Um, the one thing that I will say is that the waistband over time, it does, it does give and it will, um, contour to your waist. So if you're in between sizes, um, staying true to size may be a, 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 a good look. But if you're, if you're one of those guys like me, like I'm a 38, um, I typically don't go to 40, but, um, I got to do, typically I wear an XL as a 38 and I had to go double XL with Rude. So, um, I would say size up first, buy from a place where you could send back or, you know, go somewhere to a, to a retailer where you can try on first and you know see if you have to size up in these but these are dope these will be a dope um addition to my my fall repertoire just a little bit of flavor something to you know um uh, kind of break the monotony of of you know just regular jeans or you know jogging suits and stuff like that throw these on and and, and uh you know give you the militant look and how could i forget signature signature drawstring here i forgot to review that part the part that I was wrestling with earlier in the review. So uh, 
Rude's um, jogging pants and pants and shorts have the signature thin kind of bungee draw cord that is, uh, I like to call it Timberland Yellow. <laughs> You or you 90s New York cats, you know what time it is, you know what I'm talking about. Anybody who understands the Timberland movement, but it's that kind of mustard yellow um, draw cord um, bungee and it's thin, it, it's slightly stretchy, and then it has um, the two high quality metal tips that say rude. Uh, where you at? There we go. Sorry, guys, I can never get it to read on the camera, but they the, the tips say rude on them. So I think you can see that there, the heavy duty, good stuff. All right guys, so I'm gonna take a moment and try more for you. Guys, forgive me in advance, my floor is very dirty. I haven't cleaned, so you know what time it is. Sometimes you get the clean space and sometimes you get the space littered with sneakers and weights, but that's how we do it here at Tastemakers. And one thing that I'll, you know, even pose as a question to you guys, Root has been around and there's been a lot of, of brands that have, you know, trended and been hot for short periods of time and kind of fallen off. Um, let me know what you think about Root. Is Root still relevant in the game? Is Root still something that you're checking for? Um, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Boom, bang, boom. Some of the best cargoes, hands down, in the game. You see what I'm saying here? Just dope, man. This is a this is a cargo a, a, a cargo lover's cargo. Cargo pant. Like I was a big um I was big into fatigues in the 90s and you know when I was growing up coming into my own when it comes to style. And I was one of the guys who would uniquely I came up during like the Tommy Hilfiger polo era where the preppy style was cool, but I, you know, I was also influenced by the street. So I was like, I would see people wearing army suits, army hats, M65 jackets, and I'm talking about army certified um, stuff. And that stuff, you know, aviator jackets, flight suits, and all, that stuff captivated me as well. So I was one of the only people who would break the rules and mix the two. I would rock a pair of fatigues and a hill figure shirt. And some and some dope Nike, some Jordans or some Pippins. So this this cargo it gives me kind of the um, the upscale feel of what I was doing back then, and it allows me to kind of stay true to my DNA. So really like these, really really like these. This is kind of a baggier style, uh, not super duper baggy, but just perfect perfectly roomy enough to to be stylish but not be you know too too big. So. Again, you guys, tell me what you think. One thing that I will say um, to inform you guys um, about these, if you're thinking about buying a pair, the pockets are dumb small. Um, I, I can't even get my hands in the side pockets. I have to struggle to get my hands in the pockets. And there's space, there's space in there when you get in there, but it's just the getting in there is the problem. There's plenty of space in there. Um, which is kind of a good thing because if I put my wallet in there, there's less chance of it falling out. But good God, I mean, if I'm getting a ticket and getting pulled over, boy, I hope, I hope it doesn't make the cop nervous of me struggling to get in my pocket to get my daggone wallet. Um, that was that was a, a, a dark <laughs> example, but you get my drift. It's hard to get into the pockets. Um, but yeah, uh, that pocket was small, the side slant pocket and the flat pocket for the, the side cargo pocket. Typically, cargo pockets are bigger. Um, this cargo, These cargo pockets are small. Um, the front flat pockets are cool. They're good. They, they're, they're, they fit hands well. And the side pockets, they fit hands well. Uh, the side pocket with a zip fit hands well, but they're shallow. So, you know, they, they'll only be with so much they can hold. Got these at Essence.com. I paid $250. Um, there, there were some sizes left, so I encourage you to check Essence out. 
I know that you hear me um, speak about Essence a lot, S S E N S E dot com, but I, I am not sponsored by them. It's just a go to because they have great sales and I can pick things up that um, that I like at low prices. So um, again, two fifty. These pants usually retail around like six or seven hundred. Um, you know, never never pay full price if you can. Why? You you know, use that extra money to do something else with. Um, it's not even about flexing or anything like that. Just get it cheaper if you can. Um, but yeah, that's all I got today for today's review. You know, I'm uh, really, really loving these cargoes, new cargoes. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you, you know, how you feel about the root cargoes you own or if they're on your radar or if you're considering them after this review. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, you guys keep doing what you're doing in style. Take it, Tastemaker's Palette. We out.